Hi, my name is Miles Gibson, Iron Speed MVP for Milestone Software. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Visual Studio 2008 to help you debug custom code. This code may be something you've written from scratch or through the use of an Iron Speed code customization. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using Iron Speed Designer 6.2 Enterprise Edition along with Visual Studio 2008 Professional using VisualBasic.net. I will also be using the Acme OMS sample application available in all versions of IronSpeed. So that you can duplicate this demonstration yourself later, I will be using the code customization set field value when another field changes. This simple customization is available for all versions of IronSpeed Designer. So, let's get started. I loaded the Acme OMS sample application and selected the Add Orders page. I then used the Code Customization Wizard to execute the code customization set field value when another field changes. In this example, I need to have the required date automatically set to equal 14 days after the order date. To view the code generated by our customization, we need to select the controls.vb file for this page. I can do this either by clicking on this tab above or by using the Application Explorer to navigate to this file. When the code page displays, scroll down through the page until you find the subroutine order date text changed. At this point, we can see the code that the code customization wizard inserted into the code behind file for us. You can see that the required date value has been set to something called initial value, which of course is incorrect for a date field. Now, while I can certainly make the changes to this field right here within IronSpeed, I like to use Visual Studio because of the built-in IntelliSense and debugging features that it offers. IntelliSense is a capability in Visual Studio that shows me what properties are associated with an object. And, of course, with Visual Studio, I can work with my application while it is running in order to investigate problems. By clicking on the Visual Studio icon in my IronSpeed toolbar, IronSpeed will launch Visual Studio and position me to the same page. For this demonstration, I have pre-launched Visual Studio to save time. In order to provide a calculated value for the required date field, I will need to first convert my order date string value to a date object and calculate 14 days forward from the order date. I must then convert the calculated date value back to a string value and assign it to my required date field. The following code accomplishes this for me. With this code in place, I can now remove my original line created by the code customization. Let's save our changes. We can now test drive our code customization. When I press F5, Visual Studio will first compile our changes and then launch our app into a new browser window. You may be asked to confirm that you want to enable debugging for this application. Click OK to allow changes to be made to your web.config file so that debugging can occur. This should be turned off when putting applications into production use. With our application loaded, we can now add a new order to test our code customization. Let's enter something into the order date. And you can see now that IronSpeed has used our code customization to calculate the required date, which was 14 days after the order date. We've now successfully used the code customization and Visual Studio to enact a business rule that probably would be required for some applications. And in conclusion, we can now say that we've learned how to use Visual Studio and IronSpeed together uh, to use a simple code customization, set one field when another field changes, and we also learned how to debug a simple piece of code. For more information, please visit the following websites, milesgibson.net or milestone.ca, or send me an email to miles at milestone.ca and I'd be happy to answer any questions you've got. Thank you for watching.